Hey everybody, what's going on? How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's all in well and all that, all that, all that. Uh, we're gonna jump right into it here. Um, working on ourselves, making sure we are the best versions of ourselves that we possibly can be. Um, so, uh, you know, I was uh, talking about, thinking about um, what it takes to really be the best version of yourself and all that. And one thing that, that really people struggle with, I think, is is figuring out who and what they are. And um, and that's a, that's a problem for a lot of people. It's a problem for a lot of people to really figure out who and what they are, where they wanna go, because you're always trying to please other people. You're always in this race, and it seems like you're always trying to please other people. And that can be an incredibly frustrating thing um, so I wanted to have that discussion here. So <clears throat> one of the best things that ever happened to me was joining the police department because it taught me the idea of, um, command presence, something that I've, you know, struggled with for a long time and other, other ventures. And <clears throat> I want to I want to bring that to the to the idea of what goes on a lot of times in, in, in everyday life, command presence that 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 power of uh, how you enter into a room, how you speak, your your mannerisms, uh, the confidence that you exude, all of that command presence, something that I lacked for a long time. But the police department really, or the police academy, the police department really made sure that I that I had that. Now, they, I'm t talking about in general. They made sure that everybody had that. If you couldn't handle it, if you couldn't, you know, walk in that vein, then you were um, cast aside and you were asked <laughs> to uh, to leave. And so that really became something that I, that I strived or strove to work on. And uh, so, so I want to bring that to, and I, I've talked about this in other, other videos about this idea of game, swag, it's all it's all confidence. It's all confidence. Swag, game, drip, the way that you come off, how do you move in the world? It's all confidence. And one thing that um, I was listening to some someone else and uh, give a shout out to them is that they were talking about this in the same vein, right? Right? How do you come off in the world, right? And they were talking about how um, people, um, how you walk, how, you know, if you stand upright, right? In particular, they were talking about the black community. If you if you're a member of the black community, right, and you walk a certain way, then they think you're uppity or stuck up or or whatever. And you know that is something that 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 is really a struggle for I would call what what this this term of educated lane, right? This idea that you're educated and but you you don't have this real street cred ability about you and all this type of stuff right and, and you'd be surprised about how many people in particular young ladies don't do that uh, or, or are looking for that in their man or, or, or in their potential mate so you really got to figure out who you are and be confident in that and I agree that you should have command presence, that you should have a certain deal of confidence. And that confidence can translate into game when you're in the workplace um, and, and all that. I'm talking to young younger people, 25, 30 years old, still trying to figure out who, who and what they are and where they want to be in life and what it takes to get there. And um, again, the podcast that I was listening to, they were, they were talking about they were talking about, um, you know, how you dress and how you dress to impress. In particular, how you dress to impress young ladies. And if you are, uh, you know, if you're a suit wearing type of dude, you got to find out the, the the correct fashion that's going to attract them. Versus if you're a blue collar type of dude, you know, sweats and sneakers or whatever, uh, then you're gonna then you're going to attract what you what you put out. I'm saying to you, figure out who and what you are and where you want to be. I am a 51 year old person and my kid sent me this picture I'm gonna put up on the screen here when I turned 50 and that's exactly who and what I am uh, I you know and people have said to me that they tuned into this channel because they saw a brother with a you know with my name PhD 
and they saw that I had a Yankee fitted on and all this kind of stuff. So I was like, who's this cool brother? That's what I want to be. I am not, I, I, I did the police department thing. I did the internal affairs thing where I had to put on a, a jacket and a tie. I did, I did, I did all that. I did all that. Um, went to these different functions and had to wear suits and, you know, impress people. I was, for a long time, I was a member of the church where we, in a black church, you dressed up for different functions and events and occasions and stuff. I did all that. I did all that. I'm not impressing anybody else anymore. I'm not impressing anybody anymore. And you really have to figure out who you are and stand in that, stand by that. And so if you're, and if you're dressing to impress other people, and if you're dressing to impress ladies, then you will be, you will often be disappointed. There was a situation where I had a conversation. Uh, I, I, I was kind of almost fresh out of the divorce. And um, I um, went on a date with a young lady, beautiful young lady, really enjoyed her company. But, you know, this was a wake up. This was a wake up call for me because the situation went down like this. I had taken her out to a date. You know, I listened to her talking on the phone, we, you know, listen to what she liked. And, you know, you do the impressive thing. I'm going to take her out on a date. And I heard that she liked whatever she liked. I'm not going to go into all that because she don't know what I'm talking about. It. <laughs> and uh, so, but we had a good time and all this kind of stuff. And then whatever I was wearing, I mean, I, I never dressed raggedy or anything, but, but uh, I had, um, she was like, you know, whenever you go on a date with someone, you, you always put a uh, collared shirt on. Uh, now, I didn't appreciate being mommy during school and all that. Listen, I know how to dress. I, you know, again, I, you know, I, I understand. I, I, I moved in those circles, of, you know, it's hanging around in different marriage balls and all that kind of stuff. You had to do that when you're upper level echelon in the police department. You had to do all that. I resisted doing a lot of it. I didn't want to do it a lot. But if I'm going to rub elbows with the correct type of people, then you got to do that. And as us pause here for a moment. If you're going to rub elbows with those type of people, if you're trying to make it whatever job that you're going to make it on, then you got to do what it's going to take to get there. So that was part of what it took. So I had this conversation with her. Now, this was a... She's going to know what I'm talking about. This is a Latina, right? Hispanic female, Puerto Rican. And uh, she... She... Um, so we had this conversation... And then one day, I think she, either she went through my phone or somehow I sent her a picture. Anyway, somehow she figured out that one, one, one time there was a picture on my phone. I was on vacation, nice spot that I'd gone to, and I, you know, I was smoking a cigar, a cigar in my mouth. So I took a selfie, you know, a cool little selfie and, and all that. So she's so she sees the picture. She's like, where's this dude at? So I'm like, what are you talking about where this dude is at? Yeah, I'm right here. She's like, no, you know, I want this and that. I'm like, and I said to her, listen, before you wanted a dude wear, 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 wear a collared shirt, but now you want this thug type dude? Like, what are you talking about? What are you, what are you saying? So they, these ladies sometimes, man, and this is not to bash ladies. I, I, I'm saying this to say, figure out who you are, where you want to be in life. That, that's the purpose of this. I'm saying you got to figure that out for yourself and don't be swayed by other people, whether you fit into their program or whether they fit into your program and adopt the mindset that they don't fit into your program. That's the mindset that you have to that you have to adopt. That they don't fit into your program. So she's talking about I'm not I'm not I'm, I, you know I was you know because I'm, I'm not smoking a cigar right now. I don't even understand what she was talking about. As if I'm not swag or cool or confident or whatever. I don't know what she was talking about, and I don't even care what she was talking about. The point is, is that you got to figure out who you are for yourself, and this is a tough thing because because. You know, men, and this is in particular to the men, this could apply to anyone, but really for the men, you, you have to build yourself up and become something. And when you're building yourself and becoming that thing, people will try to deter you along the way and try to try to help, try to mold you in certain ways that they think you ought to be. And you're never going to fit into 100% into somebody else's mold. You're never going to fit into that place. So you got to figure it out and do it for yourself. So there was another situation, you know, just, just, well, let me just keep on with that situation. So, you know, we ended up, I'm like, oh, listen, I'm not doing that. And so, you know, I just thought that she, she was a, she wanted the Tupac in a suit. I'll play another video somewhere along the lines. I'll cut into this and brief that.
women be out here creating super niggas in their mind. They don't even be looking at the niggas right in front of them. That's the difference between men and women. We see who here. Right. Women down here think it's a unicorn nigga with long dick and a lot of money and a weekend house and this nigga write poetry and draw and he's a thug and he can fight and lift weights and don't eat pork. You crazy. <laughs> You gonna meet this nigga with a lace front on? <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, all right, I'm tripping though. What, 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 what did he say, man? Oh, man, that nigga, they want that nigga have everything. You know, she wanted a Tupac in a suit. This this idea in people's heads that that's not there. And you know, a lot of ladies are missing out on on, on good dudes. You know, I don't think I'm a Steve Urkel or anything like that. You know, I don't I don't think that at all. But I could be wrong. You know, I don't know. People have. I've, I've talked to some people that thought I was in the military because of my, my presence or whatever. I, I don't know. I don't know how, you don't never ever know how you come off to other people, you know? So I don't know what they said or what they saw, what they think they saw and all that kind of stuff. But you gotta be confident in who and what are, who you are, what you, where you're going and all that type of thing. So you gotta develop that, 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 that confidence, that command presence and, and, and be strong in that. And here's the thing, here's the thing that, that, that really, uh, I'll probably end off with this, is this idea that a lot of times these ladies are looking for this, this type of thing, whatever, this, this swag, swagalicious, Tupac in a suit, half thug, reformed thug, uh, you know, I'll shoot him up, we know how to fight, draw, save kittens, uh, all this, all this different type of thing, right? All this, all this type of thing, they want it all rolls into one, but they're missing out on a good dude. And what's funny is another podcast that I was listening to, and I and I totally agree with this. I wouldn't bring him up if I didn't if I didn't agree with what they were saying. Is that this guy was saying, listen, you know, to, in order to save the black community, they want they some of these ladies out here, single mothers, advocate for the so-called good dudes to come into the neighborhoods, come back to the neighborhoods, become big brothers mentor coaches and all that and i'm for that i talked about that i talked about the last video i talked about that i think that that's important but but what has to change is is the expectations on the other side the reward system you have to change the reward system because the only thing that matters to men is outcomes the only thing that matters to young boys is outcomes and if if i become this educated dude PhD, master's degree, start my own business, IT guy, and I'm not swagalicious enough, I'm not thug, thug, thuggerific enough, if I'm not doing all that to any level of degree, and I don't have any women, I'm putting this much more mildly, think of the female dog term that this podcaster was using, he was saying if you don't have any, any female dogs, any women who are clamoring after you, then you're going to lose all these men, and this becomes the problem for the educated lane, for the educated brothers out there who want to do something in life, who want to become somebody, who want to start their own businesses, who want to go to college, who want to join IT, but because it isn't deemed swagalicious enough or and all that, that they that they are that they become turned off, and because they don't have the women chasing after them, then they're not going to enter into those fields. Picture what I'm saying, think about what I'm saying in a much more harsh and get away. If they don't have the female dogs around them, right? This, this, there's another phenomenon called um, uh, pre-selection, right? If a woman sees a man and sees you by yourself, she doesn't think anything of it. She, she don't give you any attention. But if you got a wedding ring on, or you got another woman with you and all that, and she's beautiful, then she thinks. Then that woman, then the, the first woman would think, oh man, what well, he's got something going on, and that would give you more attention. Absolutely true phenomenon. Particularly if you have a wedding ring. Absolutely. Absolutely. So think about what I'm saying. So let me let me end this off because I don't want to seem like I'm rambling here. I want to keep this on, on, on pace and on mark here. Be confident in who you are. Walk with confidence. Speak with confidence. Develop your command presence. And be the best version of yourself. And forget about all these people because you can spend a lifetime chasing people, chasing, trying to dress to impress people, trying to take them to out on the fanciest dates, trying to buy the best car to impress people, buying the biggest house, all that kind of foolishness. I am past that in my in my old age. 
I'm dressing for myself. I, I, I got a bunch of joggers. I ordered some joggers, uh, some sweatpants, joggers, call them what you want. I'm being me, I'm doing me, but I'm 51 years old. I have a pension. I teach at a couple of colleges online. I'm, you know, I'm doing, I'm doing okay, making you my YouTube videos, teaching college online, got my expert testimony business, and I wear a suit when I need to go to court or anything like that. So I dress to impress when I need to. But in the other times, you know, this idea I got to be wearing this and doing that, and even when I do do this, I still got to have a, a spar in my mouth, and I still got to be thugging, thug riffing enough, and know how to fight. Listen. Listen, I'm going to tell you right now, as a police officer, I taught other brothers how to fight. I've been in my share of fights. Um, and if someone doesn't think I'm tough enough, swagalicious enough, then that's your problem. You don't you don't belong in my world. Uh, so you can keep it pushing, keep it moving. Really, really sad that this that this sister um, uh, really thought that way because, you know, sometimes they, they mess up a good thing. They mess up a good thing. You know, they mess they mess up a good thing because you because of this idea that's in your head that really uh, doesn't exist to the full extent in real life. So let's keep the conversation going in, in the in the in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts and your opinions. Have you lived a life where you tried to impress people? You've gone to different events, spent a bunch of money, bought these cars, bought these houses, bought these suits, tried to impress people, and then, and then it ends up backfiring. You that that is a never ending hole that you can go down and you'll never ever get to the place where you're actually fully impressing these people. Fortunately, I'm done with all that. Last thing I'll say about this is I quit my job. I had a good job at, uh, at a university here in Connecticut, and I quit because I wanted to be myself, because I wanted to build my brand, build my business, and sitting in meetings all day and doing all this was not for me. Great job, great people. If I was 30 years old and I got that job, and I had a family at home that I that I had to really take care of and do this, I would not have quit that job. Great job, great people, great university. I still teach there, adjunct there. But it's just not it's just not for me in the place that I am. But if you're a 30 year old person, 35 year old person still still trying to figure yourself out, build your brand, do what you have to do, dress to impress your boss, dress to impress your boss, dress to impress any ladies you're trying to do that for, uh, and all that kind of stuff, right? I don't want to seem like I'm speaking on both sides of my mouth. But if you're gonna if you want a certain type of lady, if you want a certain type of job, then you have to dress to impress that person. In that in those people, but I'm in a different place where I don't need to do that anymore. If you're not in my program, you're not in my program. I am totally fine with getting on an airplane, going to another place, rock and walk around in sweats and shorts all day, teach teach online, and um, teach online and just uh, and, and, and just make money like that. But that's the place that I'm at. So. Much love and peace, everyone. Let's keep the conversation going in the comment section. Work on your command presence. Walk erect. Talk erect. Don't be worried. Don't worry about your speech pattern, whether or not you are, uh, how you speak to people and all that kind of stuff. So um, they don't like it. That's their problem, not yours. Much love and peace, everyone.